Police arrested 23-year-old Luca Chang last night after receiving a call from two convention center workers. Danielle Swanson and Sally Dumont spotted Chang in the kitchen area. They say he was sitting there drinking a Coke. We came in this back door, we unlocked it. Um, that right here, we stopped and realized that there was somebody sitting in the chair. Um, he stood up, looked at us, and said, I think it's something time to go. Swanson says Chang got up when he saw them and quietly proceeded to go back to his hiding place in the ceiling of the building, where police believe he's been hiding out for the past week. She also says they'd heard reports of Chang in recent weeks on television and knew that police considered him armed and dangerous. We, there was no doubt in our minds that that's who they were looking for. Chang made his first court appearance in Umatilla County today. He will be charged next week with attempted murder and first-degree assault in the brutal attack on Karen Lang along the Umatilla River Parkway. That happened on August 9th. He also faces a murder charge in the stabbing death of a 19-year-old Amy Jane Brandhagen at a Pendleton motel last year. Umatilla County DA Dan Prima says this has been a good day. It's an absolute relief for, for everyone in the community. I know law enforcement uh, has, has really uh, uh, put a lot of resources and time and, uh, you know, an emotion into this case. So it, it's, it's a real relief for them as well. Prima says the investigation has also revealed Chang served in the military. He spent some time in the uh, Marine Corps and uh, after some service had uh, deserted the Marine Corps. He says they're looking for any ties Chang may have to other unsolved cases. As for Swanson, she says she's going to sleep a little easier tonight. And I'm glad that he's off the streets and can't hurt anybody else.